SCTN Station Manager Chase Stanton here with the first episode of the as of now unnamed new news show we are broadcasting on Channel 18. That was a tongue twister. For the first episode, we're putting out the call for you to let us know some new potential names for the show. Just email in or call us and let us know what you think, but keep it PG. Now let's get started with the news. Last Tuesday, the Saline School Board met to discuss statewide changes in standardized testing. The MEEP test for 3rd through 11th grade students is being replaced by the new computer-based M-STEP test, an alternative to the traditional multiple choice format. Students can expect more open-ended questions and interactive classroom activities that emphasize critical thinking skills rather than memorization. Michigan's college prep test is also in transition following the state's decision to switch from the ACT test to the SAT test. Gretchen Driscoll, the first female mayor of Saline and second term Democratic representative in the Michigan House, has announced her bid for Michigan's seventh district seat in the U.S. House of Representatives. If she succeeds, she will be the first female to represent the district, which covers Jackson, Branch, Eaton, Hillsdale, Lenawee, Monroe, and Washtenaw County. The $9 million Michigan Avenue renovation project, which was expected to begin in 2018, is now projected to start next year in 2016. The segment of US-12 from Maple Road to Mill Pond Bridge will be completely reconstructed, while major utility work is being done beneath the road. The construction may be tough on local business, but Saline residents can expect a much safer, more pedestrian-friendly stretch of road upon completion. Keep an eye out for the Stony Lake Brewing Company, a new microbrewery set to open in downtown Saline this spring. Visitors will find an assortment of craft beers and many other types of homebrewed drinks. You'll probably see me there. Saline Hornets boys and girls basketball teams both lost last Friday to Ann Arbor Skyline, 55 to 40 and 35 to 33. The Saline swim team in the meantime came in third behind Ann Arbor Pioneer and Skyline at the SEC Red Division meet last Friday and Saturday. On Monday, the Saline boys hockey team won 3-2 in the pre-regional against rival Ann Arbor Pioneer. That's it for sports and that's it for our show today. Thank you for tuning in and please visit us at sctn.org to find out more about our videos and programming schedules and look for more episodes of whatever the show is going to be called in the near future. Thanks for watching.